All right, I'm super excited. I'm looking forward to walking you through this quick tutorial that talks about setting up sales sequence in HubSpot. We are hub stars and HubSpot believers. And uh, this is the one of the game changing things that we've been teaching our clients specifically in these remote selling situations and how you can leverage the power of video plus technology to amplify your results again in our remote selling world. So as you can see up on my screen here, uh, I'm in HubSpot. These are some of the options that they have specifically for the CRM and also sales. Uh, so it's a combination of leveraging your CRM and then also the sales portion of HubSpot. They actually have other uh, types of uh, software that you can leverage. So for obviously marketing and then customer service, but specifically for the sales hub, which this is what I want to talk about through this sequence that I'm going to show you here in a moment. There's a few different options depending on the size of your company. There's a starter package, professional package, and also enterprise. So it depends on the size of your organization. I have, uh, we've been working with HubSpot for so long and basically have the pr professional version. So I'm going to walk you through and how you can leverage these personal outreach at scale, which includes sequencing and then one-on-one -on -one video creation. And just as a heads up, they are actually offering a reduced small business package right now. It's a bundle. So it actually includes HubSpot, the CRM hub starter that I just talked about a little bit, and then also the service hub starter. So that's normally 113 a month. It's only $50. So it's a great entry way to taste more of HubSpot. So let's jump into that sequence. All right. So uh, the sequence is great because you can set up uh, multiple sequences and I'm going to share my screen so you can see exactly these different ways of the sequences. So as you can see, I have set up a lot of these personally to my prospects. Uh, and actually I can create uh, based on this, I can actually create up to a thousand different um, sequences uh, based on the professional for HubSpot, but it's really easy. And again, you want to create anywhere from three to five messages. So when you go in here to create the sequence, you come here, you can actually either create from scratch uh, based on a recent conversation, trade shows, product demos, or post call meeting follow up sequence. So there's a lot of variety of ways. I'm going to show you how I've done it for specifically like conference outreach. So let me just show you real quick from starting from scratch. I'm going to create the sequence. And as you can see, if you click on the plus sign, this is where we can actually create the email. And so if you have other templates that you've used, you can either click on those or let's just start by creating a new email template. Here's what it looks like. You can name your template. You can put the subject line there and then the body of it. So I'm going to go back and show you some of the other templates that I've created just to give you a bird's eye view on how easy this is to set up. Uh, so specifically, let's get to sequences. Let's go back. So again, here's my lists of all the ones that I've done. And then let's say we want to send it to specifically a specific prospect and or customer or client. So we go into HubSpot, we go to the CRM portion of it, we pull up emails, and then we want to create a new email. Then we can come up here so you can see, hey, do we want to attach a template? Do we want sequences, documents? Uh, do I want to include a meeting or quotes? So let's focus on sequences. And then let's grab this first one, remote selling sequence. Come in here. And then I'm going to show you uh, for this particular sequence, we have four emails. And I'm going to show you how uh, the messaging works and then also how you can incorporate the thumbnail image for a video that's clickable that you can track on the back end as well. So for example, the beautiful part about these sequences uh, is you can set it and forget it. So this first one, let's say I want to send later. I wanna send this to myself four days later. So I wanna send this next Monday and I wanna send it at you know, my client, let's say they're on the East Coast and I'm on the West Coast. Let's get this puppy out early, right? So they can get it in their inbox and hopefully uh, you know, watch this the first time early in the AM. Here's the messaging and then boom, here's the video. So you can actually track on this uh, portion of it too, but this will just show you the video. I did a gift for this. So this is the other technique about this remote selling. How can you stand out? How can you create awareness? How can you engage that prospect? So GIF is a nice feature that you can use in the thumbnail of the video. So that's the first email that goes out. The second email, 
again, as it pops up here for a second, I want to send this a week later. So I set it for seven days, maybe there we go. And then I want to change the time so I can change this for early in the AM. Again, I want to hit those inboxes early. And this one, I didn't include specifically a video and it's more of, you know, providing a lot of educational information, uh, you know, showing and, and also walking them through uh, some ways that they can leverage the power of marketing. And so that's just included in this email. And then the third one here, let's set this for seven days out. And then again, I want to hit it up early in the AM. So let's do this a little bit earlier. And this one, I have a video in there. And, you know, for me as a marketer, I got to test things, right? And so I'm going to test this one without thumbnail. I kind of change the, or not, sorry, the GIF as the thumbnail. And I just want to include a bigger headline for click to watch video. That's in there as well. And then let's pull up this fourth and final one. So I want to, you know, push this out seven days as well. And you can change the frequency. So depending on your tactics, if you have a longer sales cycle, then, you know, every week may be reasonable. If you have a short window and you have a 30 day sales cycle, then obviously you'd want to have these a little bit tighter. But again, I want to send this out early to my East Coast contact. So let's go there. And then this final one, I do have a video, right? And the beautiful part, let's set this. I'm not going to set this one, but you can do that. And then you can go back to your sequences that you've set up individually. So you can see how many people are enrolled. What's the open rate? What's the click through rate? What's the reply rate? What's the meeting rate? What's the unsubscribe? And hey, how many bounces are you getting? So this is a way for you to get uh, back in data, right? And that's part of the remote selling sequence is to understand who's engaging with your content. So specifically, if you had somebody in this uh, sales sequence that is crushing your videos, crushing your content, opening up your emails, right? That's who you're gonna follow up with first. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful. It's definitely one of the top remote selling sequences uh, as part of our training process. And hopefully this has been helpful. Bye for now.